Jones. In fact, now it's a catch in the air the whole time, and Billy Watson takes the catch down front leg. Well, it wasn't a, a great delivery from Danny Watson. Very wild down the leg side of Ramiz. Must have thought, well, here comes runs here. Got bad onto it, but uh, didn't time the shot at all. Hit it in the air. And a great breakthrough for New Zealand early on. Well, it just goes to show, doesn't it, that person who's been in four more series and a one-handed flick shot there. Not a great ball, even worse sort of shot. And there, Willie Watson, well positioned to take a pretty easy catch. A great start for New Zealand. There's the first runs. Rather a streaky shot from Schaub. A single. Down to Martin Sneddon, down at third man. Oh, what a brilliant take. And Schaub is out. Caught and bowled by Danny Morris and a brilliant catch. It obviously just stopped on him a fraction and he checked his stroke. And Morrison took a catch that rather reminded me of the one that Ewan Chatfield took in the classic catches to dismiss David Gower, in fact, diving away to his right. But he played just in front of him, it didn't come onto the bat, and it's very, very, almost identical to that uh, Chatfield catch, wasn't it, Gower? Certainly was, and that's the end of show. Danny Morrison is delighted. Out for three, and Pakistan three for two. Solid looking drive down the ground, four runs. Over pitched from Danny Morrison. Oh, he's nicked it. Fending at that one, Imran Khan takes the edge. Good ball from Danny Morrison. Three to Ian Smith, and he's gone. Well, we'll see on the replay, but it looked as though he may well have pushed wide at this and perhaps didn't need to play it. Uh, the replay will tell the story. And let's just watch here where it pitches. It pitched short, wide of off stump, and Imran really hung out the washing there. Takes the outside edge, and Pakistan have lost their third wicket. I think Danny Morrison's just left the field. Uh, Bert Vance coming on. He's going to try. Always given out LBW. I thought for a moment there was a bit of bat in it, but uh, umpire Steve Dunn says, no, you're out. So another wicket, Pakistan, four down. Yes, there was certainly uh, two noises there. Whether he played uh, his pad with his bat, although as he came off, he was looking at the edge of it. Let's just watch here. The ball pitching outside off stump, nipping back in. And because we only get 25 frames per second, of course, we can't really tell whether he's got a nick on it or not. You tend to go on sound. And the person in the best position, of course, to do that is the umpire. But Amir Malik not happy. 19 for 4, Pakistan. Robertson, following to Mudassa. Hello. Nicely played down through mid on. <laughs> taken two. And they get three. That was a well-timed shot from Mudassa Nazar. Not too much effort in the shot, but came onto the front foot and got the ball from the middle of the bat and got three down to the vacant long-on area. Oh. Well, there you are again, the movement. Five wickets down, and I mean, I think we really have now got to the point of, of um, no return uh, for Pakistan. I mean, if they were going to make a reasonable total, I think these two had to dig in and, and really start to form a belated base for the innings. But I think that one really has, has underlined it and um, the baseman out is Malik, the given it all to New Zealand. Features. So Sally Malik out for one there, and Pakistan 25 for five. He just has a run. And in fact, has two runs. So he just underway. And Pakistan moved to 33. That's about the best Pakistan run rate has been right throughout this inning so far.
A little edge and gone. Robertson has a wicket. And he jazzes is out. So Pakistan's problems continue. Let's just see if it uh, leaves the jazz. He's fishing a little outside the off stump. And here we go, Robertson delivering the ball from about mid-crease, angling it in just short of a length. And just straightening a fraction off the pitch, Ejaz looking to run it down to third man. He runs it straight into the gloves of Ian Smith. Ejaz departs and Pakistan 40 for the loss of six wickets. That's a nice looking shot. That could be the second boundary of the day. And indeed it is. Abdul Carter hits a boundary. And Pakistan go to 45 for six. <laughs> 55 for six in the 30 second over. Well, he's tried again. That's in the air, way down over the wicket keeper. And four runs. Magnificent dive down there by Danny Morrison. But he failed to stop it. Four more to Abdul Kader. So shortish delivery, trying to swing it away, but he got a top edge. It flew over the keeper and way down to a very finest third man position. And Danny Morrison tries to get hold of it. Can't do so. Abdul Carter thumping this one down the ground. There's a long on in. Danny Morrison. And he gets only one for his troubles. <laughs> Abdul Carter playing with a real flourish on that occasion. That was a very good shot indeed. Just giving himself a bit of space outside the leg stump. Dancing down the wicket. And smashing it over deep extra for four. Well, here's the man who came into top-level cricket as a specialist batsman. There's an example of his batting prowess. What a good shot that was. It's time he goes again. And that's right over the top. That was a massive hit by Abdul Carter. So Chris Kugeline finishes with none for 35 off eight overs. It's 88 for six to Mudassa and still at the stage of the innings there's variable bounce and really climbed on Mudassa he did well to get it down safely to third man for one the Abdul Kader he's gone for it hit it high there should be a catch for Danny Morrison he's out straight down the throat of the man at long on Abdul Kader has pulled out in Chris Kugelheim's final over and Pakistan now 103 for seven. He was conscious to increase the run rate and have a go at Chris Kugelon, who's the easiest bowler to have a go at. He didn't quite get enough bat on it there. And really, he was caught uh, at least five or ten metres inside the boundary there. An easy catch there to Danny Morrison. And uh, I'm sure Chris Kugelon somewhat relieved to pick up that wicket. But a, a good innings by Abdul Qadir, 41 equaling, in, equaling his highest one international score. Pakistan, 103 for seven. Here's the last ball of Willie Watson's eighth over. Yeah. In the air for a time, bit of a mix up here. But great badges, shy at the stumps, misses. Willie Watson finishes his eighth over. He has none for 12, and it's 113 for seven. That's four runs, the finest of leg glances. And it was too straight for the man. It was about 45 degrees down at fine leg, Willie Watson. So that raced to the boundary, and that's the kind of shot that Pakistan need. Graham Cowan making the signal. And that was well played. Good leg glance, using the pace of the ball. That was always going to be a boundary for Tossi. One one eight for seven in the forty seventh. Oh, this should be four more. This time down through third man. Oh, magnificent stop by uh, Martin Snedden. 
That ball was fair, zipping across the boundary, and Smeaton got to that quickly. It was actually coming straight towards in our commentary box, so really going off the top edge, and uh, that hurt Martin Smeaton a bit. Good swing by Madassa, and over the top. It's beaten the New Zealand skipper and heading out to the fence for four runs. Smash the stump. This is this is not that's not New Zealand pine, is it? <laughs> but I don't think it works here. Eh? The pitch microphone's had it by the look of things. And so is Madassa out for 48, and it's been a very good innings from him. Along with Carter, he pulled the Pakistan innings round. Have another look at it. Danny Morrison pitching well up again as he did last ball to Tosif. This time, with the big back lift of Madassa looking to hit the ball at this time of the innings. Misses the delivery and goodness gracious, the old carry goes down. Just one over remaining now, Pakistan 135 for eight, and Willie Watson. That's a bowl that last over. I think, Jerry, it might be the first time we've seen Salim Jaffa bat at all in New Zealand. I think it is, because he certainly didn't uh, didn't bat in the Test Series, did he? We didn't get down more than probably number five or six. That's right. And, uh, and certainly in the one-day matches so far, he hasn't been required either. Well fielded by Watson. That was coming back with a fair bit of way on. See, right up again, that's where you've got a bowl at this stage of an innings. It might have been a catch, actually. Let's have a look. Whack. Yep. Well, that would have been a marvellous catch. Finished up being a pretty useful piece of fielding. Taken by Ian Smith. And that's the end of Tarsi. Well, that was all pretty quick. Smithy uh, doesn't seem to have recovered really from the four buys that have happened about three or four overs ago, but my word, what a superb catch. Here's Watson. Tarsi giving himself a wee bit of room, just gets an edge and it flies. Oh dear, that's a, she's a one-hander. Smith almost fools the batsman by saying, look, that's where it would have gone. Look, that's gone fast, and it's a one-hand catch, and my word, what a good one. So he's even <laughs> a little bit surprised he got it himself. <laughs> Fabulous reactions, look at that. Here it is, last ball of the innings. And one run taken. And so that is the end of the Pakistan innings at the end of 50 overs at 138 for nine. And I think they can be reasonably pleased with that, bearing in mind at one stage they were 40 for six, but it's quite a sensational catch taken in that last over by New Zealand wicketkeeper Ian Smith. It's called wide well down the leg side so and then the experienced campaigner that he is is just having a bit of trouble here getting his line with the right left hand uh, opening batting combination that New Zealand has that's the second wide he's bowled in the space of seven balls Jones looking for that big hook that he likes to play so well Ejaz is getting rather upset no, rather, Amir is getting rather upset behind the stumps So Graham Cowan in his first one day international being put under pressure by the Pakistanis. 
Steph Jones to get a glove on this as he got it away. Well, it certainly tells the story, doesn't it? Everyone's trying and over the wicket line to John Wright and he's caught it slip. Well taken by Salim Malik. So Imran comes over the wicket to the left-hander, finally gets his line right, goes across the left-hander, finds the outside edge of his bat and right, hits it straight to hand at first slip. So a breakthrough for Pakistan in the third over. Well taken by Salim Malik. And New Zealand with John Wright out for one, uh, six for one. Nicely played by Martin Crowe, that should go to the fence. Man of third man can't get around in time. So Crowe is off the mark with the boundary. Well, that's beautifully driven by Crowe. Carter can give it away, that's a fine shot. Nice drive again by Martin Crowe. Salim Jaffa is the chaser. And good running, Martin Crow back for a third. So fast between the wickets. In the air and caught. Emran has a second wicket and Martin Crow is dismissed. And Crow as he walked off there tap down the wicket as though the ball stopped let's just see here if it stops on him it's very wide indeed and he really reached for it and hit it head high into the covers and from the other end here's Martin Crowe getting out it was wide leant back a little on the shot it may have stopped a fraction on him and went just above head high to Ejars in the covers side on view now and Martin Crowe not quite getting across to it and a sharp catch there for Ejars Just past Shah Muhammad and out to the fence for four runs. A solid looking drive and that's four runs. It was in the air for a way but it was clear of the field. Andrew Jones launching into a drive through the extra cover region down amongst that big crowd. Well, that's the end of Mark Greatbatch. He's been bowled. Well, a very lax looking shot from Greatbatch. And his rather poor form in the one day matches continues. And away he goes. Bowled by Tarsif. The spinner getting through with just his second delivery. Let's have another look at this one. Well, I must say, so much for what I said. The spinners wouldn't do anything. But I mean, he, it wasn't a good shot. He was bowled round his legs. He moved that front foot too far across. And. Um, well, he was bowled round his legs. It was it was a bad, it was a poor stroke. Oh, he's gone for a big thump over the top. He's got hold of it. Four runs. There's a man out there on the mid-wicket boundary, but he's a lot squarer than that ball went. That went uh, fairly straightish or wideish mid-on. Oh, a short delivery swung away by Andrew Jones, and that should go all the way. And a poor delivery from Andrew Carter. Jeff Crowe flipping that away. It was a bit short. He got on the back foot very quickly. Well played, Crowe. He's got four runs. Full toss straight down the ground. And it's too fast for Young Aki and four runs. Well, Andrew Jones, the top scorer for New Zealand so far, 31, and going over the top, hitting it fine, very well indeed, four runs. Great shot. Yeah. And Tulsi bowling it very wide, but too short, and Jeff Crowe's played a nice backward cut. Gone for four. Jeff Crowe's looked good too since he arrived. He's 21, he's at three boundaries. Looks so much calmer than he did a year ago, doesn't he? So that was dropped, I think. 
Yes, that was certainly a, a catch there to. Um, is that show? Show up, yes. A little bit slow to move, I thought. And he certainly got his hand to it. Nicely cooked away by Andrew Jones. As the New Zealand 100 comes up in the 28th over. And a couple of extra runs there for Jones. And that, in fact, is the end of the over at 101. Carter bowls, or starts to bowl his fifth over. Just a little bit on the short side, and misfielding again. Imran. And one is turned into two. He wasn't pleased with himself, was he? I dare say if we'd had the translation on him, that might have sounded too hot. <laughs> You feel that way down the need most of the time. Uh, but that's a good shot. Four runs. And really just playing out the last rights of this game. It's never been uh, too much of a contest with Pakistan 138 for nine. And there's the New Zealand score 114 for three. So creeping ever closer. Henry Jones on 49. He's whipped this one away. And there's his 50. To come back for two on the 51. And hello, we've got an invasion of the park here for Andrew Jones, a fine knock. Andrew Jones, I wonder what the Aussies would say about him now. Described as the world's worst under three batsman just about a year ago. Andrew Jones, six yes. applause, please. Yes. Thank you, Andrew Jones. 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 Hit this one, Jeff Crow. He's got hold of it, hit it over the top, over the infield, and away for four. Good shot, good looking shot. Oh, he smashes that one away through the offside or just back to the point. That's four. No fieldsman move for that one. Short and wide and got the treatment. The full treatment. This is a really good shot. It's sure, it's a bad delivery, wide and short. But Jones throws everything at it. And it would have gone for eight, I think, that one, John. Yes. And that could be it. It's racing out to the boundary. It's touch and go out there. And they're coming back for three runs. So on to 139. So that's the end of the game. New Zealand have won by seven wickets. And they reach the target of 139. Andrew Jones not out on 63. Jeff Crow not out, not out on 39. And a very convincing win to New Zealand here.